This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that George in the Dragon is among the best TV series ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. John Lim Assyria played the character Colonel Maynard in the series when he was 54 in 1966. Sadly, on November 15, 1983, he left us due to a hemorrhage at 71 in Ramsgate, UK. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Who the devil was that? Uh, uh, my cousin. Uh, your cousin? Yes, lovely girl. Warm hearted. I was saying a little while ago, you, an actor gets a. Um, a good part about, about once every five years, really. That's about all. Tom Baker played the character Porter in the series when he was 34 in 1968. See, at the age of 70, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Liverpool, UK. Quality grease, but it did. And I also deliberately brushed it through my hair just to make you laugh. I thought that was very funny to touch something filthy and poisonous and then do that. Yeah. <laughs> little looks and uh, nudges, you know? Ryan Wilde played the character Police Constable in the series when he was 39 in 1966. Sadly, on March 20th, 2008, he left us due to natural causes at 80 years old in Ware, Hertfordshire, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. I was looking for one of the guards. I'm on duty here, madam. Oh, are you really? <laughs> Shouldn't you be wearing a Bugsby? Not in the Metropolitan Police. Peggy Mount played the character Gabrielle Dragon in the series when she was 51 in 1966. Sadly, on November 13, 2001, she left us due to natural causes at 86 in Northwood, London, England, where deeply saddened by passing. George Wallace. Hello, madam, ma'am. May I ask where you were prior to this engagement? The Duke of Bedford. Oh, the Duke of Bedford? Yes. Oh, for how long? Three years. There was a, <laughs> a, a lovely play called uh, Flare Pass that was really a big success. It was all about, you know, uh, going out and some... Uther Joyce played the character Irma in the series when she was 39 years old in 1966. Sadly, on August 24th, 1980, she left us due to alcoholism at 53 in Marrowbone, London, UK. We're deeply saddened by passing. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's a sheet! Sheet? <laughs> yeah. This is a bed for tea. If you'll pull the back up and the front down, it's a... Oh, it's me, love. And all the women fall about. I would, uh, one would have thought in these Mediterranean countries, the men would have been the, the, the strong ones in the family. Jeffrey Palmer played the character P.C. Fudder in the series when he was 41 in 1968. Sadly, on November 5th, 2020, he left us due to a short illness at 93 in Lee Common, Buckinghamshire, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. No pudding for lunch every day did the trick. Really? Well, perhaps we'd better try it. <laughs> However, to more pleasant subjects, I can't tell you how grateful we are to you, Mrs. Thursday, for consenting to... ...make for you to understand. Another... 10 billion on the cost? No. 40. Sidney James played the character George Russell in the series when he was 53 in 1966. Sadly, on April 26, 1976, he left us due to a heart attack at 62 in Sunderland, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Touch, and I am just the woman for it. There we go. <laughs> I love it. What I, what I uh, don't really enjoy is walking around in this gear. I feel like a blasted penguin. I keep popping open. It is the most... It is the most... Keith Marsh played the character Ralph in the series when he was 40 years old in 1966. Sadly, on January 28, 2013, he left us of natural causes at 87 in London, UK. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Hmm? Oh. Hey, you know... What you need is to take on a woman George won't fancy. Oh, no, 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 you're asking the impossible. 
father afore him to see no advantage were ever taken of her. And that's why we are here. Brian Alton played the character Justin Forster in the series when he was 59 in 1967. Sadly, on April 13, 1992, he left us due to pneumonia at 84 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Okay. I'm sorry I had to farm you out for a few days. The decorators promised faithfully that your room would be ready in time. Oh, that's all right. It should be finished by Friday, though. Philip Gilbert played the character TV actor in the series when he was 35 in 1966. Sadly, on January 6, 2004, he left us due to illness at 72 in Farnborough, Hampshire, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Peter Woodthor played the character P.C. Armitage in the series when he was 35 years old in 1966. Sadly, on August 13, 2004, he left us due to a short illness at 72 in Banbury, Oxfordshire, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Sonia Dressel played the character Priscilla in the series when she was 58 in 1967. Sadly, on January 18, 1976, she left us due to lung cancer at 66 in Canterbury, Kent, England. We're deeply saddened by her passing. Can also become a pattern of life, but a pattern that is totally unacceptable. Unacceptable to whom? What? Sheila Keith played the character Dr. Martin in the series when she was 48 in 1968. Sadly, on October 14, 2004, she left us due to illness at 84 in Church City, UK. We're deeply saddened by her passing. Boogie, be an angel and get Penelope Brown in here, will you? At the double, chop chop. What sort of bad news, Mr. Templer? Her father. Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in George and the Dragon? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.